Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Auto Shenanigans. My name is John, and you join me for the start of a wonderful series, Britain's Abandoned Roads. We're going to take a look at some various pieces of tarmac and lampposts and other uninteresting things, cobble it together in some sort of way to make it seem interesting, so when you're sat on the toilet, you've got six or seven minutes of fantastic video to watch. You might be thinking, John, bit of tarmac, that's not particularly special. No, not really, but then, we're the guys that made service stations seem interesting. So uh, we're going to give this one a go. We've got several episodes lined up, various abandoned roads to have a look at. That's the title. They're all in Britain as well. So, yep. So I hope you enjoy the series. We're going to kick it off straight away. Hello, I'm dangerously walking along a dual carriageway, but it just stops. Why is this? The A12 is a major A road in England that runs from London to Lowestoft and it's also a road that runs from Lowestoft to London. However, in the 1980s when the Ipswich Southern Bypass came along, things had to change and it was deemed a lot more suitable to build a new road a little bit further away from here and close a section of the A12 for good. For today's episode of Britain's Abandoned Roads, we are in Washbrook, which is in Suffolk, just on the outskirts of Ipswich. As you can see behind me, it looks like a dual carriageway and it is, or it certainly was. I'm just walking down the abandoned section of dual carriageway, which is on the sort of far end of Washbrook. You'll notice that the road comes to an abrupt stop. The A12 used to run right through here past people's houses, but when the Ipswich Southern Bypass came along, an additional bypass was built to take traffic around the village of Washbrook and Copdock. That's now the current A12, which links up at the Copdock interchange with the A14. Back then, that would have been called the A45. So why do it this way and faff around with building lots of new bypasses and restructuring pretty much everything? Well, that's because the groundworks required to build the Copdock interchange was very intensive and the disruption to traffic would have been catastrophic. So it was a lot easier to close a road to traffic and then build the interchange just further up the road. For quite a while after, the road showed as complete on various maps. However, today that's definitely not the case. This, ladies and gentlemen, would be the central reservation of the dual carriageway that once used to be here. And it is highly unlikely that it will ever see a return, and that's due to the massive park and ride that's been built just the other side of the A14. Furthermore, as a result of building the A14 or A45, whichever it is or was, they had to build an underpass uh, to allow, obviously, pedestrian traffic to get through still. However, the size of that will never really allow for a dual carriageway to run here to reinstall or reinstate things back to how they were would probably cause absolute mayhem in the area. Right ladies and gentlemen that concludes today's episodes for Britain's Abandoned Roads. Thank you very much for watching indeed. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the old subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're made aware of our next mind-boggling tarmac exploration. Mm -hmm.